Hello. Thanks for checking out the HireVue app for Excel. This app makes it easy to visualize and analyze hierarchical data. In this video, I will give an overview of the capabilities that this app provides. We will look at the two different types of hierarchies that it supports. Then, we will go over the steps needed to configure the app to work with each hierarchy type. These steps will include details on handling complex formulae and conditional formulae. Later we will take a look at saving the view as an image. Let's take a quick look at what this app can do. In this Excel file, I have two instances of the HireView app configured against the same table in Excel. The table has sales data. It has name of the salesperson, their employee ID, and their manager's ID. The combination of employee ID and the manager ID provides us with the reporting structure of the sales organization. For example, Kathy reports to manager with ID 79, which is Adam. Additionally, it has information about the country, state and the city where the salesperson operates. The first higher view app instance visualizes the sales data in a tree-like display as per the reporting structure. In this view Adam is at the topmost level. And the other higher view app instance in the second sheet visualizes the sales data as per geography. In this view, USA is the topmost level. Let's look at the first one in detail now. I have hidden the area related columns. These are not relevant for the first view. The visualization is like a tree structure that has nodes at different levels. Here, each node corresponds to a row of data in the Excel table. In this tree, the topmost node is Adam, the highest level manager. The intermediate nodes are the mid-level managers, like Bill. And the nodes at the bottom are the non-managerial salespersons like Iva. We can toggle the display of a particular manager subtree by clicking on the chevron. We can zoom in and zoom out using touch or the mouse scroll wheel. Similarly, we can pan the view by dragging the mouse around or by touch. To show or hide the command pane, click on the menu here. Zooming and panning can be done using the commands in this pane by clicking on the proper icon. To fit all nodes in the view, we can click on the Fit to View button. When we click on Fit to View, the zoom level is adjusted so that all the nodes are seen. Let's take a look at what is shown inside each node. We see the name of the person and some rollup values like the sales total, average sales, and percent sales. For the node representing Kathy, the sales total is the sum of Kathy's sales and sales of David, Ellie, and Frank. That is, Sales total is the sum of sales amounts in Kathy subtree. Similarly, percentage sales is the percentage of the overall sales which Kathy's subtree has achieved. Now let's look at the second app instance. This has a slightly different structure. Here only the bottom level nodes correspond to rows of data. The upper-level nodes refer to the categorization values based on which the hierarchy is generated, in this case the geographic area drilled down. For example, the row for Bill has country as USA, state as California, and city as LA. The nodes for USA, California, and LA are for categorization only. The node for Bill corresponds to the actual data row in the Excel table. Here also the nodes display similar data like the sales total and average sales. But these values are rolled up based on city, state and country instead. For example, we can see the total sales values for LA, California state, and at the country level. At the bottom most level, you can see one additional data indicating whether the sales by person are below the average value of the overall sales organization or not. For example, Bill has below average sales, whereas Hank has above average sales. Also note that the below or above average indication is not available for the categorization node. Let us walk through on how we can configure the higher view app for these scenarios from scratch. We will first delete the existing app.
Now, we will insert the app using the Insert tab from the ribbon. To configure our app, we first click on Settings icon at the top right. As we have seen earlier, the app supports two types of hierarchies. One is an ID linked data in which there is a column having unique identifier for each row, and another column that has the ID of the parent. This is the one we want to use for this instance. We will look at the inline hierarchy in the next example. To select the data that we want to use, click on the Select Data button. This will bring up the Excel dialog to select the table. Using this, we can choose the desired table. We will reuse the existing table in Excel. One can additionally choose to auto-update the view whenever the data in the table changes and whenever we apply any filter to the data in the Excel table. Click on Next button to go to the next page. Now we have to configure the columns using which the hierarchy structure will be derived. We select the column with name ID as the ID column name. We will also select the column with name manager ID as the link column name. Click on Next button to go to the next page. Then we configure what we need to show in each node. Click on Add Display Line button. In the first drop down, we can either select the column whose value we need to show in the node or we can use a formula. First, we will add the value of the name column to the node. Click on Save icon to persist the changes. Next, we will include a formula. Let's say, we want to get the sales total in the subtree. We can use the Insert Function button to build the formula. We have to select the function first. Note that we have functions with start with sub, like subtotal and subaverage. It implies that the value will be computed for the subtree only. That is, only values belonging to the node and the nodes that are below it will be used. If the function doesn't start with sub, then the values in all the rows are utilized for computation. For our purpose, we want to use the subtotal function. We need to specify the column whose value will be used for calculating the subtotal. Here, we select the sales column. The final regular selection is regarding whether we want to include the node's value in the computation or not. If we want the computation to happen only for the nodes below it, and exclude the node for which the value is to be shown, then we can choose the second option. But for our case, we want the first option. Click on OK and then on Save. Similarly, we can add the display line for computing the average sales for the subtree to the node. We will again use the Insert Function dialog to help create the formula and save the changes. Let's see how the visualization looks like now. We click on Done to apply the settings. We can see the structure of the hierarchy and the rollups. Just looking at the visualization may not give an idea on what these numbers represent. We can fix this by showing a label. Let's do that. We go to Settings and click on the Edit icon for the display line. Then we enable the Show Label setting and specify the label as Sales Total. Click on Save. Note that the display line also becomes easier to identify if we do this. We will do the same for the other formula of computing the average sales. We save the changes and apply them. This is how the nodes will look with the label included. Now let's add a more complicated formula to evaluate the percentage of sales done at a particular node's subtree. We go back to Settings and add a new display line. We choose the Formula option. Since we don't have a built-in percentage function, we will have to combine different values to compute it. For the sales percentage, we will first need the subtotal of the sales. We still keep using the Insert Function button to help us build the formula. I have included the subtotal function. Then I type in the division operator and again use the Insert Function dialog to include the overall sales total. Then I complete the formula by multiplying with 100 to get the percentage value. You can use basic mathematical operators to create the formula as per your requirements. 
let's save the changes and apply the settings. Now, we have the sales percentage included in the view. When we configured the app, the settings to auto-update on changes in values and filtering of table were enabled. Let us try seeing that in action. I will change some data first. I will update Ellie's name to Liz and her sales numbers from 104 to 120. We see that these changes show up in the visualization. Now we will look at the inline hierarchy. In an inline hierarchy, the structure information is available within each data row. In the sales table, we have the complete geographic drill down information, that is the country, state and city specified in each row. We can use this type of data to create a view which has the sales view by country, then state, and finally the city. Let's insert a new higher view app to visualize this. As mentioned earlier, we go to settings. For this view, we select the inline hierarchy option and click next. As before, we select the Excel table we want to work with. For a change, let's uncheck the auto refresh and enable filtering options. Now, we can describe our data by specifying the column names from top to bottom levels. In our case, we will use the country column as the topmost column, followed by state, and then the city. The display configuration remains the same as before. Let me go ahead and quickly add some display lines. You can see that I have configured the name, subtotal and average columns. Now let's try a conditional display line to check if the sales or the person are below or above the overall average. For this, I add a formula-based display line. We first need to check how the sales for the node are as compared to the overall average sales. I click on the insert function and use the column function to get hold of the sales value. Next, we need to compare it with the average value. I will go ahead and type the greater than or equal to operator. Next, I will insert the function that gets the overall average value. Now we need to either show above average or below average based on this comparison. To do this, we will type in a question mark after the condition and first provide the value that will be used if the condition is met. In this case, it is the above average. Next, I will type in a colon and provide the value that will be used if the condition is not met. In this case, it will be below average. This is how conditions can be used in the configuration of the display line using the question mark and the colon operators. Let's save and apply the settings. We can now see the new display line. We see that Bill has below average sales, whereas Hank has above average sales. In case you want to store the view as an image, you can right click on the view and choose Save Picture as menu option. You can save the image in PNG, BMP or SVG format. Whatever is displayed in the view will be seen in the saved image. In case you have any feedback, do click on the feedback link to send it across. Do rate the Higher View app on the Office Store. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.